One man, one murloc, one giant angry badger. This is Blue Please. It begins now. Yes, indeed, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Blue Please here on WOW Radio with myself, Total Biscuit. The date today is the 30th of January, 2009. It is 8 o'clock in the British Isles. It is other times in other places. And you are listening to the most shocking, Lee Grimm show. Yes, I've been accused of being a little bit of a shock jock. Some guy actually compared me to Rush Limbaugh, of all people, and it's like, well, as far as I'm aware, I'm not a closet homophobic racist who wishes to destroy America. But, whatever. At least he's popular, I suppose. So, you know, I can have that as a plus. What are we coming up in the show today? Well, we're going to be doing a retrospective of sorts. We're going to be delving into the Burning Crusade. Yes, the previous expansion. And we're going to be looking at why it was maligned. And what it did right and what it did wrong, and the things which led into the creation of Wrath of the Lich King in its current form, which, as you're probably well aware by this point, I despise with a fiery passion. Yes, indeed. I will also be looking at what we're going to need from the next expansion, what Blizzard has to learn from the experiences of TBC and Wrath of the Lich King, and going forward, hopefully making some kind of experience which does not involve raid content that can be cleared in three days after release. Yes, indeed. And of course, the one and only Illusion of Choice! Yes, you'll get your chance to submit the final topic for the show. You can do so by emailing the at gmail.com. Email in your Illusion of Choice topic, and it may or may not get used. Now, throughout the show, I will be soliciting emails from you guys. Normally, I don't usually do this, but in this case, I am going to do it. I'm going to let you email me in. It's going to be a constant running topic. The retrospective is definitely going to be going on for at least two talky segments, which is more than most, because most only take one talky segment. So you can email in at murloc at gmail.com regarding your thoughts on the TVC. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What did you like? What didn't you like? We'll weave them into the discussion like some grand tapestry of sorts. Now, however, we must, of course, open up with the feature that we brought back which involves this. Uh, mail time. Mail time. That sounds like it's mail time. Here's the mail. Oh, it never fails. Oh, it makes me want to oh, wag my oh, tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Quite, it indeed. It is the time when I read your mail. Of which you have sent some, and some of it is actually quite good. So we're going to start off with this. This is an article that I do quite like. Unfortunately, the person who sent it to me did link it on Massively, which was a silly idea, because all Massively does is regurgitate other people's good content and write fluff around it. However, it's okay, because I have the original link here. Now, this was submitted to me by Boss Wally, and he has an email to accompany it, and I shall read that email for you, just to preface what he has to say. At least, when I can find the email, which I have inexplicably lost. There it is. Right. Okay, we're good. And it says, Hey TV, I found this article on Massively. Stop reading Massively. Read good blogs. Go and read Gamers with Jobs. Go and read the Escapist stuff. You know. That's where the material actually comes from. And he says, I finally found out what the casual's agenda is. And this article says this. This is by Sean Sands, and he runs a website, I believe, or at least he is part of a website, called Gamers with Jobs, which is a blog about, well, gaming for those who have jobs and busy lives, etc. So it's kind of like a blog for casuals. Uh, By the definition of casual, I mean not the derogatory definition of casual, the actual proper definition of a casual player. And they say this, he says, Go ahead, you can blame me, just to be sure and spread that blame a little thin, because you've got about 10 million people right behind me who screwed it all up just as bad. You see, once upon a time, there were MMOs who put hair on your chest, which is perhaps why men 
became the stereotypical player. Venturing down the virtual roads, the local merchant was itself a quest of great peril, and the cobblestone 2D roads of early MMOs proved rife with legitimate and aptly named highway robbery. Gangs of villains, the diabolical avatars of endlessly repressed rage, roamed the streets with impunity, their vengeance striking indiscriminately and without warning. And it goes on. And basically... He goes on to talk about World of Warcraft being, you know, possibly the most casually friendly MMO to come along. And, of course, it did. Unfortunately, there is something of an issue. And he says this. The most recent expansion, Wrath of the Lich King, is a triumph in virtually every way. It provides a landmass rich with content, and even more surprisingly, an epic storyline that embraces a rich and professionally crafted history. As a player, you are asked to face the monstrous forces that can destroy worlds. Unfortunately, the law of the land is no geek left behind. Yes, indeed. Now, his point, just to kind of break it down a little bit, is with Wrath... And this is something that I've said, and I'm glad to see that someone else is getting it, especially from the casual perspective, because a lot of people do view my views as elitist, and I would agree, they're absolutely elitist, because I'm one of the better players in the game, and I have no problem admitting that. There's a lot of very good players. The problem is, being good in WoW is entirely relative. It's being better than the rest of the idiots, and really that doesn't take a lot. To be better than 90% of the player base, all you need to do is know what your hotkeys are, how to press them in the right order, and the ability not to stand in the fire. Also, basic scheduling skills and priorities do help, and also the ability to communicate without using the words Rofalol at regular intervals. These are all useful skills that make you the elite of WoW. Yes, it's that bad. Uh. I'm called Elitist, and my response to that is simply this. In the country of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. WoW players, in general, on average, suck. So, being good in comparison to them is incredibly easy. Now, this no-geek-left-behind policy, appealing, you know, pandering to a casual player base to the point where, actually... They've gone too far. Now, I do not mind Blizzard putting in content that is suitable for casual players, as long as we get, in our minds, a solid definition of what casual actually means. To me, casual means limited time. It means that you want, you know, you're not so much unskilled, you're not worse at the game than other people, you just have a lot of RL priorities that get in the way of playing on a regular basis. Either that, or they get in the way of playing for a long time. Now, anything that gets in the way of playing on a regular basis can be problematic. Because, of course, it gets in the way of joining raiding guilds. However, and this has been around for a very, very long time, and TBC introduced this mostly, is that there are a lot of guilds who are designed around short-form raiding schedules, i.e. that do not take a massive amount of your time. Sure, they might not progress as far as the other guilds, the guilds that spend more time in there, but they do raid, and they raid regularly, and they generally raid well. They might not raid as well as the Bleeding Edge, but they certainly raid well, and as a member of one of these guilds, you can experience the vast majority of content, as well as raiding with people who are like you, and understand your situation, which I think is very important. Looking at WoW from a social perspective, you do want to be with a group of people that can empathize with your particular RL commitments, and work around them. Now, to me, that's what a casual is. That's my idea of a casual. That's the kind of casual that Gnomewise and his crew are. They can't log in for massive amounts of time, but when they do log in, they make it quality time. Maybe they've got the weekends, so maybe they raid on the weekends. And other times, if they do have the time, they might jump into a random pug, or they'll just maybe do a heroic in half an hour or whatever. And they will gain gear, and they will progress, albeit at a slower pace than other people, but they will progress. And that's fine. I have nothing but time for those people. I do not mind them at all, and I have a lot of respect for people to play that way. However, the problem is there's another kind of casual, and we like to call them the entitled casual. These are generally the people who aren't actually casual at all. They are entitled casuals. They are people who want everything they possibly can from the game and don't want to work for it. And Blizzard seems to have catered to them. Now, here's the problem. Hard content does not mean it's unfriendly to casuals. You can have an uber-hard instance that takes half an hour to finish. Now, are you telling me that that's unfriendly to casuals? Because if you are, then that means you're telling me that casual players are not as good as other players. Now, since WoW has a very low skill threshold, and the skill involved in playing WoW 
does not tie in at all to the amount of time you spend playing the game, since you should be able to learn your class quite easily while leveling up. It's not really all that hard. Then you are admitting that casual players suck in comparison to normal players. Now, since most entitled casuals, when they make their long, whining, post- pointless rhetoric on the forums, tend to say, Oh, well, I'm a casual player, and I'm just as good as everyone else, but I want this and this, and I can't do this. I can't raid because I have a life. Well, the argument must be made that Insidia raids less than everyone else because they're better at the game. They spend less time in-game because they are better at it, and they can finish all the content quicker. And that actually has always been the way. The people who spend the most time in the game are the people who are wiping a lot. Especially, this is especially true with Wrath, because most people can clear the content in just a few short hours. Nax can be cleared by any average guild, indeed also a pug that at least knows what it's doing, in about four hours. <coughs> Whether that be the 10-man or 25-man version, Sartharian is a 10-minute kill, Malagos is a 10-minute kill, and VOA is also a 10-minute kill. So if you were to dedicate uh, five hours, you could do the whole lot in one night. Alternatively, you could spread it over several days. Bearing in mind, of course, Nax is a winged instance, and each wing takes between 45 minutes to one hour. There is no excuse. Not anymore. Not for people that say, oh, I have a life, and you shouldn't be catering to these poop suckers, you should be catering to me. Well, actually, they did cater to you, and the problem is they catered far too much. They made the content so easy that even casuals are saying, well, what's next? And that's something that they've never really had. I've been a casual every now and again when I've had a very, very busy life. Hey, I have a very busy life now. And you could consider my playtime to be of a casual level. However, I do schedule my time around things that I care about, like WoW Radio, like my job, like my wife, like my family, and like WoW. You know, these are the things that I like. So, am I a casual player or am I a hardcore player? I certainly play hard when I get in-game. I try to focus as much as I can. I'm a very experienced raider. My gear is certainly above par. And I do very, very, very good DPS, so one could say that my job is being fulfilled in the manner of a hardcore player. And I have no problems working for things, as long as they're enjoyable. Now, there's things like daily quests, I don't actually do those, which is amusing, actually, because daily quests are considered to be casual-friendly. Yet, it seems to me that daily quests are the kind of things that only the hardcore player would actually dedicate themselves to doing on a daily basis, and like, people really like repetition. And I can't really understand that, because I do not like repetition, which is the reason I don't do dailies. It's no fun. It's like having a second job. And again, there's a bunch of irony there, because in title casuals, post on the forums, well, I have a real job, I don't want a second job. Yeah, but you do your dailies every day, don't you? Anyway, that's kind of straying from the point. The point is that there was so much whining. And there was so much entitlement. You know, complexes of entitlement a mile wide. Posted on the forums over and over and over again. And so many people indeed complaining that TBC was too hard. Meh. That the content got nerfed into the ground. And look, hey, they nerfed it too far. What a shocker. Of course they nerfed it too far. Now the fact of the matter is that as a casual player and as a hardcore player, in my opinion, the only right you have is the ability to test yourself against the same content as everybody else. And that might involve some progression. In the case of Wrath, it doesn't. Now, they removed attunements. Good thing. As far as I'm concerned, if all of the doors are unlocked and thrown open to you, then the only thing that you should have to worry about is the ability to walk through them. Are you good enough to step across the threshold? Because it's down purely to the skill of you and the skill of your raiding group. Now, to me, that seems like the perfect balance. It's not getting in the way of casual plays. You've got instances which are relatively short and are winged. They have nice, long reset timers and can be done at your leisure very easily. You have a lot of gear that can be acquired to help you out through the running of heroic dungeons. Which, again, I have no issue with. I just wish they were somewhat harder. Because right now, heroics are about the same difficulty level as everything else. I.e., not at all. But the problem is, it's now all too easy. And, as this guy so aptly points out, he ruined World of Warcraft, and he didn't, right? He didn't ruin it, but there are plenty of people that have certainly contributed, said, hey, the raids are too hard, and gave the impression that, no, casuals cannot do this. No, casuals can. Real casual players? Yes, they can. Certainly with Wrath. Indeed, pre-Wrath they could as well. 
without a doubt. They might not have got as far as other people, but the problem is the expectation that you as a person who plays less should get the same as somebody who plays more, which is not a solid grasp of reality. That's not how it works. Whether it be in game or whether it be in real life, the only thing that you should have that is equal to everybody else is the opportunity to try. And I have no problems with that. Bring it on. Take all achievements away. Let anyone walk through the door. And let's see what happens. Let them test themselves against the content. But don't let them walk through it. Don't drown them in epics. And don't take away from the raiding experience. You might have a job. You might have a career. You might have priorities. You might have a family. A lot of us do. Get that into your head. You are not some treasured minority. The vast majority, in my opinion, are casual players, and there's an awful lot of them who are raiding, and continue to raid, and raided before Wrath. And they didn't complain, and they didn't whine, and they just got on with it. They toughed it out, and they were rewarded. And that's how it should be. My name is Total Biscuit, you are listening to Blue Please here on WoW Radio. I'll be right back after this. It's Curasass, as torches rise. Enjoy. 